Leo and welcome, welcome, thank you for being here. This is good for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Cross Watching and it is for the last two weeks of March. So it's from the 14th of March through to the 31st and these energies, not predictions, allow yourself to harness the energies that feel right for you. So we're going to look at general and we're going to get some guidance from these other decks. We're going to look at money and career and we're going to look at love and relationships. Okay, so my Leos, you are starting off with the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Sun and the Outcome, the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's have a look, see what is going on for you my lovely Leos okay you are moving out of a very stuck space here it's unlocking it's unblocking it's unfolding good good super all right oh okay coming in from the answer is simple the guidance is to detox and from the unicorns all the cards that I use are linked in the description box below, by the way, and also the links to book in with me. I am open for bookings if you would like a personal private reading just for you or a healing session. Okay, uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. All right, let's have a look here. Where do you want me to start? Here. All right. We have this Eight of Swords, which is about being stuck. And the advice and guidance coming in from the unicorns is to uncord relationships. It's a number four, which is your foundation. Your foundation being nice and solid. And when we're corded from the heart, from the mind, from any place in our being to others, it ties us, it holds us, it restricts us, and it's not good. So we want to let go. Forgiveness is freedom. Now, forgiveness, those that have hurt you, harmed you, yes, if you possibly can, to be able to say, I am choosing to forgive you, to forgive your behaviour, to forgive your actions. I'm freeing myself in doing that. Now, for others of you, it's not necessarily that somebody has hurt you. We can get corded by perceived love and need and dependency and codependency where we become attached to people and to things. I've seen lots of people attached to their car, to a, an item in their home, very attached. Now, all of this ties us. It's okay to love things and love people, of course it is, but real love doesn't cord anything, it's free. So have a little feel into your energy and ask yourself, honestly, because we've got the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Truth, asking yourself honestly, where am I corded and how can I let go? Because there is a letting go, the detox. When we look at these together, the uncord, right, because a lot of corded energy creates toxicity within us and we want to detox that energy. So this can be alcohol, this can be the wrong foods, too much sugar, all the rubbish foods, this can be overspending, but this can be needs and dependencies and addictive behaviour towards another or towards something. So let go. Let go and detox. Ask yourself, would it be the end of the world if that thing or that person wasn't there? And if you said to yourself, yes, it absolutely would be the end of the world, then that is an attachment, that is a cord, and we don't want that. So you're being asked from a place of truth with that Queen of Swords to really examine where you may feel stuck, where you may feel trapped, and to allow yourself to free yourself with that Seven of Swords. When I'm putting these two together to get out of this stuck space, we have to leave something behind. Now, the Seven of Swords can be a sneaky, deceptive energy, but I don't feel that's the case in this, in these cards. It's the, the flow here is about discreetly and quietly 
leaving behind that which you no longer need. Take with you what you do. He's always taking his five swords and leaving the other two behind. But we don't need to be attached to things. Let's use the swords to cut those cords. So we are needing to take action on this. Knight of Wands is an action card from a place of fire and power and enthusiasm and determination to say, I can do it, but it's not going to do it itself. It's not going to detox itself. It's not going to uncord itself. I have to do this because, because why? Because I'm not hugely happy. All right, this isn't a disastrous card, but it is a card of saying I'm dissatisfied and frustrated and a little bored and a little fed up. And I want to come into a place of happiness. Here's another cup being offered, but I don't know if I want to take it because I've been stuck and it might just make me feel even more stuck. So the advice here, these are the advice supporting this uncord detox and that will lift that energy of dissatisfaction lifting the energy of being trapped and moving us towards a much much happier place the sun coming out now a beautiful uplifting positive bright energy so how do we get from here to here we have to use this queen of swords the queen of truth all right and truth can be uncomfortable sometimes and we can get a little bit squirmy, you know, oh, oh, I don't want to look at that. You know, I don't want to acknowledge that maybe I'm dependent upon X, Y or Z, because I like to think that I don't need anything, but actually I do. So be honest with yourself. Look at where you're being held back from what and allow yourself this week to uncore, detox, break free. OK. All right. And I'm not talking about ending relationships with that. We're talking about ending the cord, the dependency, the attachment. And that allows the freedom to flow. Let's look at money and career now. Money, career, entrepreneurs, business, investments, the foundations for my Leos. Thank you. Oh, nice. We have the Fool, the Empress and Temperance. Three major arcana cards here, guys. Wow. Money is looking amazing. Money, job, career. We are on the brink here, and the brink is the word they're giving me, of a new beginning in terms of business, in terms of job, in terms of investments. The Fool wants to come in to bring in the balance, the harmony, the Mm, yeah, the, the stillness, they're just showing me everything's been very bouncy all over the place, up and down, or and we want to just get it very still and very calm. This angel here is hovering, just hovering, using the power of the fire and the water, one going up, one going down, to hold her in a still, calm place. This is what they're telling me to tell you. OK, so we are bringing in the balance. We are bringing in the harmony, the moderation where things have been all over the place. We're getting it nice and still, nice and calm. And the Empress, this is you, male or female. You are creating this, this pregnancy giving birth. We've got the eggs here ready to hatch, ready to launch into a beautiful place of harmony. It's going to take trust. It's going to take a leap of faith. It's going to take you not having every answer, every box checked, every I dotted and every T crossed. This is you jumping in. Just go for it. Don't mm, uh, almost even don't even look. Just jump. Don't look too deeply. Don't look too closely. Don't overanalyze. Just go for it. You've created this from a place of power because you wanted more balance, because you want a new beginning. And that new beginning is here for you, Leo. So grab it, harness it. These are the energies around. So let's tap into them and use them to create for yourself a world financially in terms of your job and career and your investments that is much more balanced, that is going to grow with that empress into something really beautiful. OK, all right, let's have a look at love and relationships. And this is all relationships, not just romantic, including the relationship with yourself, Leo. All right, what's going on for my Leos this next two weeks? 
marriage, rejoice, and telepathic, some very powerful positive messages there for you in terms of love and relationships. The rejoice card in the center and you've got the sun here as well. Embrace your loving connection and rejoice. It's a beautiful card of joyful, uplifting, trusting, happy energy. It's just lovely. And we have the marriage card as well. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So the focus this week is very much on your marriage. For those of you who are married or living with somebody, don't worry about the label of a ring. If you are in a long-term relationship, energetically, you are joined and you are in a marriage. Is that joining a cord or is that joining through the heart and love? Allow yourself to look at that this week. And you have the telepathic card. Close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. Yes, we can finish each other's sentences and read each other's minds and know what each other is thinking. This is a beautiful energy for couples. For those of you not in a couple, Allow yourself to bring this into your relationship with yourself. Rejoice and be happy within yourself that you have a loving connection with your body, your mind, your soul, the universe, your friends, your family, whoever is there. And that that telepathic energy can also be between you and your higher self and you and your soul, allowing yourself to be guided into a beautiful space all right so those are the messages i have for you we're going to finish off with an angel card final message for leo please never alone all right now when we're looking at uncording and detoxing and freeing yourself here it can feel a little bit uncomfortable a little bit squirmy and so in order to help you through that detox process, just visualize your angels being around you, holding you, your higher self, your divine self holding you, helping you to free yourself from that which holds you back. You're not on your own with this. If this message is resonating for you, the support is there from the universe to help you to push through, to let go and to allow yourself to have this beautiful new beginning with the sun. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you for the last two weeks of March. I hope this helps. Thank you for being here. Have an amazing two weeks and I will see you in April. And if this reading did resonate, do give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, all that lovely good stuff. Thank you so much and I'll see you next month. Take care. Bye bye.